physics is um, a science that tries to simplify things. So why am I talking about it now um, in something where I'm focusing on astronomy? Well, really, astronomy is, uh, in many ways, a subset of physics or a place uh, to test physics out. Or you may think of it as an applied science, not as a basic science. Physics strives to find the ultimate truth. And it tries to do that by seeing if a few simple principles can apply to many different things. So that's kind of the game that physicists play. Uh, one great example of it that you're familiar with, and it's uh, really profound when you think about it, is uh, Newton. Newton came along and uh, unified the motion of the planets i.e. motions of things outside of the earth, the motion of the earth around the sun. Even his laws even make sense to get first approximations of the motions of the sun and stars around the galaxy with uh, phenomena on earth. Before Newton's time people thought well you know we had the earth and things would fall to the ground you know here's a something like that would fall here and uh, in space, well, maybe uh, by the time Newton came around, people were saying, well, things did orbit. But it was really Newton who came up with a unifying principle. And he said, the stuff on Earth and the stuff in space is governed by the same force. And that's the force of gravity. And Newton came up with some uh, three basic principles of mechanics and many, many things came from that. Uh, anything from building bridges to launching rocket ships into space. And his principles work very well today. So that's a that's an, a unification principle. One simple idea, basically one equation, which is the force of gravity, and it's something called the conservation of uh, momentum, has led to the ability to unify many, many things. So that's that's a great thing. Physicists don't like to remember lots of things. They just like to have one or two principles and from there be able to solve a multitude of problems. And if you can do that, maybe you're closer to the truth, to the essence. Now as time went on, Newton's laws, Newton's observations, while they apply to the world we're familiar with and the sort of the scales we're familiar with, really started to break down when we got to very small items or when we got to very high speeds, speeds approaching the speed of light. So his laws no longer seem to apply. So it made sense to try to build a more encompassing set of principles that would be able to predict what we see in our normal world. Often that's called the classical regime because Newton's physics is called classical physics with um, the uh, boundaries that are examined by modern physics, such as high speeds, or very small sizes, and possibly even very great distances. So today, physicists are striving to try to come up with additional unifications. Uh, you all know about Einstein. You've heard his name many, many times. Einstein came up with some great unifications, and he spent his life really trying to unify uh, different fields in physics. What Einstein did was he was able to actually tie in uh, what became disparities between uh, observations of objects at high speeds uh, approaching the speed of light and everyday speeds and uh, he was able to tie together a lot of the electromagnetic phenomena that was observed and how it worked without having to um, make analogies to sound waves or other things. So he really broke some boundaries and his theory of special relativity and then he went on to general relativity which really was a unification where he actually tied together space and time with motion. And you can look at uh, the warp of space-time as related to motion. So, and that ties in again with gravity. Gravity can affect motion or gravity can affect space-time, i.e. a particle or some object follows a space-timeline and it's warped by a gravitational field. 
this again is a great unification principle, but that's not enough. And today, there's more theories going on to unify. Another example um, that's going on today is to try to unify the various forces. There's no fundamental reason to say all the forces in nature should come from one source, but it would be quite interesting if it does. So there are people today searching for is there a link between gravity, electromagnetic forces, and the weak and nuclear forces? Is there something, some common bounds there? In fact, uh, a lot of physicists have spent a tremendous amount of time trying to come up with unification theories, and Einstein spent the last part of his career trying to do so, and in fact he was not viewed as successful. He made great progress um, with general relativity. He won the Nobel Prize uh, related to quantum phenomena, which by the way, he denounced quantum phenomena because it just didn't seem to, to him to, to be right. There was a, a very famous expression he made where he said that God does not play dice, which in a sense, quantum physics, which I won't go into here, is really a field that is, is characterized by not knowing exactly where something is, but it has a statistical nature or a wave-like nature, and it just didn't kind of jive with uh, how Einstein viewed the universe. So the great unifier, Einstein, um, really never embraced quantum mechanics, and, and a lot of people haven't. And people have searched for other things. The latest craze today is a string theory where there's an attempt to almost explain everything based on the fundamental theory. Uh, unfortunately, I won't go into string theory. It's a really complicated subject. It would take me a half hour just to kind of set up some of the basics. But this is actually a theory that has questioned the, the fundamentals of what is science itself because a lot of the hypotheses in string theory can never be tested. So is it science any longer? I've rambled on quite a bit here and I've covered a lot of ideas, but I just want to give you a sense of um, physics is really tries to simplify and sometimes as we simplify we've made great progress um, and often the term unification is used. I, the, the most simplest example to understand is what Newton did where he unified motions on Earth with motions of the um, celestial bodies. Uh, Einstein came along and did some great work in unification. Uh, but yet it's, uh, physics continues to move on. It has many uh, unanswered questions and fundamentally it uh, raises the issue maybe humans can never really understand what uh, is really going on underneath all of this. So with that, I will sign off. Uh, thank you for listening, and any comments would be most appreciated.